Hi everyone, today I'm going to present our work, Plug and Play VQA, zero short VQA by conjoining large pre-trained models with zero training. VQA requires a model to generate an answer given an image and a question. It is a challenging task and the models need to exhibit multiple capability to do so. For example, for the following question, the model needs to recognize the action, jumping, reason, and identify the man and frisbee as object in order to generate the answer to catch frisbee. As for this example, the model requires partial understanding to identify on top of and recognize the character T and its color attribute in order to generate red as the answer. It is especially challenging in zero-shot setting where the model needs to solve VQA without being trained on any VQA data. Recently, large-scale pre-trained language model has demonstrated impressive performance and properties, such as zero-shot learning capability, and various work have leveraged PLM for zero-shot VQA. However, most of these assisting methods they require additional adaptations. Because PLM cannot understand image, so a vision encoder is often trained on image and text pair using language modeling objective in order to incorporate the visual moda modality into the uh, PLM. And this adaptation process is non-trivial and it often requires new network components and new uh, training objective design. And, and our work aims to address this limitation by proposing a modular framework. In a modular framework, each of the components is responsible for a certain function. From the perspective of general purpose and practical AI, it is highly desirable for the system to learn new tasks by recombining the module without any training or architecture change. A modular framework allows us to replace its components without affecting the other module. The key advantage is that we can leverage improved module for overall performance gain of the system. This allows the system to keep evolve as the module continues to advance. Besides, we are also motivated by study that show human cognitive system is largely modular. Previous work have demonstrated that it is difficult and borderline impossible to obtain high performance without any kind of end-to-end -end training. On the contrary, we present our work, a high-performing system, PMP VQA, which conjoins pre-trained models with natural language and network interpretation technique with no training. Our contributions are as follows. We propose a modular framework with no training. To the best of our knowledge, our work is the first that use network interpretations as interface between pre-trained models. And our method also achieves state-of-the-art performance on VQA v2 and GQA. Here is PMP VQA overall framework. It consists of multiple pre-trained off-the-shelf model in three different modules: image question matching, image captioning, and question answering module. Now let me go into each of these modules in detail. An image is a rich source of information and the question is often focused on a particular region or object. Therefore, we design an image question matching module to identify image patches that are relevant to the question. The pre-trained model we adopt is Blip ITM, a vision language model that is trained to determine whether a text matches an image. We adopt a variance of GrabCam which score denote the relevancy and patch important with respect to the question. As shown in this equation, uh, given an image and a question, we obtain the gradient from the cross entropy loss, and the gradient are used as weight when aggregating cross attention map for all the token. Even with relevant image region, there are still multiple ways to describe the region. Some descriptions could be useful for question answering, whereas others may not. Therefore, given sample patches based on the grad cam, 
we generate multiple captions through stochastic decoding. We denote the generated captions as question-guided captions. Having multiple captions encourage the diversity of captions and coverage of visual information. Our design bypassed the need of image for question answering module. We adopt a pre-trained model known as uh, bleep caption. Then uh, for our question answering module, it will generate the answer given the question and caption as the input. The pre-trained model is uh, called uh, Unified QAV2, an uh, encoder-decoder language transformer that is trained for reading comprehension. Since there is a maximum input length restrictions on the encoder due to the positional encoding, it could limit the number of captions that, that we can use for question answering. To overcome this limitation, we adopt Fusion in, in Decoder, a method proposed by Meta Research. Essentially, we encode a question with each of the captions separately, then we concatenate the encoder representation of all the tokens as input to the decoder. Here is our comparison with state of the art. We compare with methods that require end to end uh, vision language training and those without any training. Even with less uh, parameter, our 11 billion model actually outperformed Flamingo 80 billion model on VQA V2 dataset by 8.5%. When comparing with similar number of total parameter, PMP VQA still outperformed few VLM on all the three uh, benchmark VQA V2, uh, OK VQA, and GQA. We performed ablation on image patch sampling strategy during caption generation. By having 100 uh, question guided patch sampling caption, the performance surpasses 5 human return captions on VQA V2 and OK VQA. The question guided patch sampling is better than generic caption that use all the image patches for generation. We also compare with uniform random sampling and our question guided caption is also shown to be better. Here are some qualitative examples to compare question guided caption and generic caption. We show the original images and images with heat map. The heat map show that the grad cam can highlight the important portion of the image that is relevant to the question even though it might not be obvious. In this example, the audience correspond to a crowd of people, and in this example, is dot. Therefore, the generated question guided caption can contain answer queue that are helpful for question answering. To measure quantitatively how informative question guided caption are, we compute the answer hit rate, which is defined as the frequency of questions with the ground truth answer appear in the generated caption. The figure shows that the accuracy increased with answer hit rate and number of captions. Therefore, it supports PMP VQA design which utilizes multiple question guided captions to cover diverse and relevant visual content. To conclude, we developed PMP VQA, a model framework with zero training. It conjoins multiple pre-trained models using natural language and network interpretation as interface. It achieves the art result on VQA V2 and GQA. We hope that our work can inspire more research in exploring modular framework to solve vision language tasks. Here are my email address and the QR code for the paper and the code. Thank you for your attention.